Hi, it's Miss Patty from Wakanda Area Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make spider web art. It's just fun drawing, and you get to make the spider web whatever size you want. And also, who says spiders just need to be black? We had some fun with this. I used all the scrap paper I have, so the one I made it has a pink spider but there's all sorts of fun colors, kids, so this does not need to be spooky. Let me show you how we're gonna make this. So first come into the library, your kit is gonna have a piece of paper and a spider. And I know this looks like it took a lot, but this is super easy to make this spider web. So I'm gonna set this aside, set my spider aside, and I'm gonna show you how I made this super easy cobweb. All right. You want a ruler for this and you can start with a pencil and go over with the marker. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the marker. So we're going to measure your paper. So the length is 11 inches. So what does that mean the middle of the paper is kids? Did I hear someone say five and a half? That's right. So let's go to the five and the half mark is the line in the middle. So we'll go there. We're going to do that at the bottom too. So get that edge right there and we're going to do five and a half and then we're going to do here measure start at the bottom and this is just at about eight and a half. So and what would the middle of that be? Four. So one, two, three, four and then a quarter which is right there. So you can have your adult help you with this four and a quarter. So this is our starting point. We're gonna meet those. That's why I did it at the top and the bottom. I'm gonna use a chisel tip. The last one I used a fine point marker. So I'm going for some very fat lines on this one. Meet these two. There we go. Okay, so this is our starting point. And then you're gonna start in the center and it's just little curved lines out. So I work in one square at a time. So first we're gonna make these diagonal lines here. So go corner to corner. And again, corner to corner. Okay, so this is our starting, and now we're just going to do curves like this. So I like doing the whole middle part first. You see, I'm just going out, just a little curved, and they're all meeting up at the same points. And now I'm gonna just focus on this square. So we're gonna do one, start in the middle, one. And you're gonna color all these boxes in, one and one. Let's do one more set, one and one. And now I'm gonna start here and we're gonna kind of match it up. I'm gonna do this set, this square now. Now I'm gonna to go to this line. I'm gonna do one more. See how that's coming together so easily? Let's move to this one. And again, this is your starting point. I'm gonna turn my paper so you can see it. I'm gonna start here. Curve, curve. Find my other line is here. Curve and curve. That is coming together very easily. 
Plus now they're all gonna be different. You can make them smaller if you wanted to. This is gonna give you a lot of room to color. These ones are a little bit closer together and there's a lot of coloring to get that all in there. So let's finish up with this one. And I'm gonna meet here. So now with this last one, you have two meeting points here. And now I'm gonna start here and end here. Look at how well that came together. Even if you didn't want to color it, it looks great. So now what medium at home do you wanna use for coloring? This would be great if you have watercolors at home. Do you wanna do some paint outside? Do you wanna do some chalk? I did use chalk pastels so I can blend them together. I used a lot of different colors, but when you have some pastels at home, you can rub the different colors kind of blur them together a little bit, which is fun. You can do that. And for this one, I was just thinking to use markers. So just pull out whatever you have at home. And what I like focusing on is no, none of the same colors touching is how I did mine. So I always start in the center and pick as many colors as you like. So it can be nice that you can have one of, so I chose green as my first color and I'm gonna put a green, try to put a green everywhere in each square. So that's how I work in squares. So color the outside. And then just fill it all in as much as you want. Do you wanna leave some white space in the background? That doesn't look bad. Now I'll find another one over here. Outline it. Leave some white. And then where should our last one be? What about right here? Now I'm just gonna keep pulling out some Halloween colors. Some purples, some nice fall yellow, a different color green. Of course we need some orange, right? What other colors would you choose? Fill this in. You could write boo, you can write little phrases in there, you can write your name in there. It's always fun to date these projects so you can see how your art is progressing over the years. Have lots of fun with this nice fall craft and come and join me next week for another great week of Take and Make Crafts. Hope you're having a crafty week. Bye for now.